Aries, hi. So this is going to be a reading for April 8th through the 14th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of couple of cows, a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Where did the cows come from? I wasn't even thinking about cows. I've never been around cows lately. I don't, I don't know. I don't understand. Anyways. <clears throat> oh, cool. The overall energy for the reading, the King of Wands. <sighs> cool for this energy because I either you're trying to to kind of get back into balance because there's a lot of stuff going on and we'll go right through it. But this seems to be like you standing in your power. And then I'm looking at the reading and I'm like, where? What's going on here? You know, so we'll see what this is. I feel like it's you trying to, to keep yourself steady through, all, through it all. But let's see here. In the recent past, the Queen of Wands, the Death card, the Strength card. Maybe something came to an end here potentially it looks pretty brutal in the sense of yeah it's a done deal done we're not talking about it we're not like there's no almost like no coming back from it in the way that the energy comes through um i don't know i don't know pretty harsh anyways in the current situation the four of cups the ten of swords the wheel of fortune Could be that regret is coming in over that decision. Kind of like, uh-oh, what did I do? What just happened? I kind of want that back. I don't know. Because I don't know what the situation is. I just see it very abruptly cut. And then I see you being upset about the situation. And then an energy of um, coming back around to that. Anyways, in the immediate future, the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Four of Swords, very determined to heal here, you know, to to, to kind of focus on yourself. <clears throat> okay. Let's clarify. Let me do the King of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles. All right. Yeah, no, slowly but surely you're building your way back to yourself here by the looks of it. That's what's going on here. You're working on yourself a lot and whatever it is you got planned to do. But still, that has to do with you personally. There's a lot of you energy in there. Um, but it's almost looking like... A, like recovering from something um for the queen of wands in the recent past you get the five of wands that flew out in reverse the nine of wands the three of wands so many freaking wands here um this kind of looks like when you've had enough of something you're done you're done with a particular energy that you consider this is not good for me i'm tired of it i'm done i'm at my limit here i'm I'm over it. Okay. And it is attached to another energy, which could be of a person or a situation you're dealing with. But for the death card, you get the four of wands, the death card, the star. Yeah, you really want to cut it off, though. Like, that is really, I've had enough. And then comes the conclusion to that of, I need to cut this off. And the, the energy of cutting this off is very strong in your desires as well, not only in the doing, not only in the action of it. So oh, I feel like you did cut something off here. Let's do the strength card, the ace of pentacles, the king of swords, the two of wands. Not easy because I see you kind of being very, very determined to start off fresh, you know, to take it from scratch. Okay. Give me a minute here. 
things have been restructured by Kai. Um, yeah, really determined to, no matter how hard it is, because I, I see it being hard on you. It's not, it's not that easy as chop chop done. Uh, very determined to, okay, this is it. This is me starting fresh without the situation. And here I go. Uh, a lot of determination to do that. Now, let's go to the four of cups in the current situation. The page of swords, the seven of pentacles, the five of pentacles. As you're working through this energy to, to get past this, to get over this, because you're still working on it. Um, there's a lot of energy that's bringing you down here. There's a lot of... of that situation that still hasn't been closed off you're very much upset about whatever happened there um so it kind of i see the determination of you moving on but i see this energy taken away from that because you're still dealing with the loss of this or the cutting off of this which could affect you more than you thought initially you know let me do the ten of swords the Five of Swords, the Fool, the Six of Swords. You're also trying to get past it like chop chop, as if it's not significant, as if, you know. And I know you know it's significant, it's just you're trying to rush through the process. And there is a process to this, want it or not, there is a process. And it's looking to be slower than you wished. Because maybe in your mind you thought, okay, um, just like the energies came, this is the situation, it's done, goodbye, you know. Uh, when you put it down on paper, yeah, but when you actually get done, get to it, it's a different story, you know? So it, you may need a little more time with this one to process what happened, to sit on it, to heal from the situation rather than, oh, okay, it's done, goodbye. Mm. You may need a little more time with it. Let's do the Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Cups, the King of Cups, the Queen of Swords. You're very excited about the energy of moving on. That's why you're kind of in a rush to get there, to be like, oh, okay, I'm ready. But you don't feel ready because of this, you know? You're very excited and you can't wait for things to... And that's the excitement of it that doesn't allow you to go through this process properly. Because the anticipation of it, the the that's what's... That's the rush that I see here. You know, I want to get there. I want to be in that place where I'm ready and I feel good and I feel happy and I'm, I'm done with this. And, and for now, you're not. You're still in the process of dealing with this. So the more you rush yourself through this, you know, the more you anticipate what's next. Oh my God, I can't wait for the minute that I'll be happy and free of this. Um, the bigger this gets and kind of keeps you anxious and kind of keeps you stuck. You know, you, you you won't get to experience these energies that you're uh, waiting for here around the corner. And you are also not dealing with what's in front of you. You know, it's just creating a little bit of a mess energetically. Let me do the Queen of Pentacles in the immediate future. The Four of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the Queen of Cups. There you go. You just start focusing on yourself here. That's all you need to do. The minute you do that, this will fall into place where you will get to deal with these energies as they come along, no matter how slow, no matter how fast. And then you'll fall right into this place that you're excited about. And it looks even better than how you visualize it at this point. Because it's you and you're whole. You know, you don't, you don't have to carry this energy around with you. So you... That's what you're doing. You're shifting your focus towards yourself here. Very stubborn about it too. Like, oh, okay, I know what I got to do. And that's everything that I'll do from this point on. Um, interesting. For the Queen of Swords, you get the Ten of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the Ace of Cups. Watch it a little bit with... Because um, I see you feeling good here when you shift your focus towards yourself, thinking that, oh, okay, I got this. Now I'm free of this situation. Now I can move on freely. And then you have the tendency to start looking at things from a very logical perspective. Like everything has to make sense, you know? As long as it looks good on paper, it's good for me. That keeps you disconnected from your heart. And that's not the point, because that's exactly what you're doing with this energy, where you're focusing on yourself. You're bringing your heart more to the surface. And that's, think of it as your GPS, you know? For 
future references. Uh, and because that's what you're looking for here, something that connects your heart to that energy that you're looking for. But if you're looking from the premises of the mind, you're not going to find what matches your heart. Kind of makes sense, you know? So the tendency is quite big of you looking from the mind perspective rather than bringing your heart into this game too. You know, your GPS. Uh, cool. For the Four of Swords, you get the Empress, the Hierophant, the Two of Cups. Something is... The way I see it, it's, it's kind of like floating there as an energy, uh, waiting, you know, for you to open up completely so that it can enter your space, your field. Um, it's something really good. It's something that you may not expect. I see you kind of looking for it, but not really knowing how it looks, what it feels like and things like that. And then it's just kind of flowing up there. Think of it as you, you walk and then there's a cloud floating, but you can't see the cloud. You know, and the minute you start opening up and kind of hanging on to this energy of self-care and self-love, you start seeing the cloud, you know, but in the middle of it all, there's you being logic about things. And when you're logic about things, as you move ahead, you're not going to see the cloud. You know, if you have your, your heart GPS with you, that's when you start seeing the cloud. And it's going to open up to you here. And it's a beautiful energy. I don't know what it is, but it's beautiful. You know? So, okay. Okay, you're kind of navigating through something here. You'll be fine by the looks of it. You just need to pay attention to certain energies along the way. It's a nice cloud, by the way. It's not a rainy cloud. It's not a dark cloud. It's a fluffy white unicorns, rainbows in it, all sorts of goodies. Anyways, from the universe, you get the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the Three of Wands. Okay, you're working in that direction. What you're doing right now is getting you right in that direction where you'll be able to see the fluffy cloud. Um, it's just going to take a minute. So don't you get anxious about I want to see the cloud when you're in the middle of this <laughs> you need to handle things you know in proper order because you're already anxious about what's up ahead now I gave you the cloud too you're going to start looking for clouds do not do that take care of things as they are and again the minute you shift your energy more towards um yourself you know and your focus towards yourself that's when things start shifting a little bit that's when your heart gps appears and then it disappears and then, you know, kind of try to keep that on. Charge it from time to time. Um, anyways, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.